The electrical system is one of the hardest parts of any van build and today I'm going to show you how I've built this 660 amp hour Victron system from scratch. I'm going to show you how I built this electrical cupboard, how I placed all of my components in the electrical cupboard, how I went about all my different wiring, how I've wired up my MultiPlus 2, my 240 volt power, secured my batteries down safely. I'll even explain what lugs we used and what wire gauges we used. So join me on this journey of van building and the scary bit of electrics as we put together our Victron electrical system. I'm Matt and this is Sky. Together with Ginny and Little Man, we are going to build the ultimate adventure van and travel the world. If you're new to the channel, why not subscribe and join us on this epic new adventure. This is a book life. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and today we continue with our 4x4 VW Crafter van build. Today we get going with our electrical system. Welcome back to the third and final part of our Victron build series where we have fully built from scratch our off-grid electrical system for our camper van. In part one, we built the electrical cupboard and located all of our electrical components. In part two, we got all of our electrical components wired up. And in part three, this episode, we are gonna be completing a few finishing touches and finally powering up the system and testing it. Let's crack on. Everything on here is now fully, fully wired up. The last thing to do is the 240 stuff with the Arctic Blue cable. So if you're doing any 240 in a van, you want 2.5 Twin and Earth Arctic Blue. And I, I think Arctic Blue is just a thicker, more durable, uh, it's like a armored, not an armored cable, but along those lines, the plastic is a bit stronger. I'd still run this in conduit, but it's only going from the inverter to here. So I'm gonna crack on, get those in now. I've run the cables from the MultiPlus over to these two. I've done everything for this now to go into the van. I now going to grind off a couple of points in the back for where we're gonna earth to the van. I could use an angle grinder for this. However, I don't really wanna put a load of sparks in the van. So I'm gonna use a little sander just to see if that works. And here behind the electric cabinet, I'm gonna make three earthing points. earthing bolts going in I'm just using some stainless steel M8 bolts that's those three done prepped ready for tomorrow for the big install these cables I can't put the lugs on until I pass them through the cabinet so we're pretty much there maybe a little bit of insulation in there a new morning some finishing touches going on. I'm not gonna put all of these on, but this one can go on. Look who's joined me to, for the big put in the van. Can you wave? Are you feeling poorly today? Table is clear. Van is repositioned closer to the garage. Just need to take the batteries off and then we can try and get this in the van. So, oh, it's stressful this because it's heavy and I'm on my own. Ginny's gonna try and help, but she's obviously very, very pregnant at the moment. So the plan is to spin this round, put it there, drag it into the van somehow. I think height-wise, they'll be about the same. Steps two, a safe lift. One, plan the route. Two, make sure there's no tripping hazards. And three, don't do it on your own. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, 
Oh my god. Hang on, hang on. No, stop, stop, stop. It's twisted. And a bit more. And right, ready? Slide. Oh my god, it's literally like perfect height for it. Hang on, hang on, don't hang on, just chill. It's fine. Maybe you should just st stand up here and just guide it in. Yeah, you, you guide it in and I'll lift it. You just pull it. Just remember that that's now slightly unstable, so. That's fine. There we go, in. Woo! <sighs> Well, that went in without a hitch, didn't it? Big up G-Bobs, 38 weeks pregnant and helping me chuck these things in the van. Hit that subscribe button to show your love for Ginny. Right, it's in, well, it's in the van. Now we need to start adding our cables from the van, ignition live and the battery. Right, I'm working in the dark because it's obviously raining in England today, but I have threaded through my solar cables they're going through there and then up and i've also pulled through this way my ignition live and positive from car battery i'm just going to try and bolt on the two uh, earthing cables and then we'll be able to push it back and see if we can bolt it let's see if these bolts reach oh that is in that's in, that's actually in. Quick update, it's not in yet, but I have pulled it back out and I was just feeling like a couple of the wires were fouling mainly because I'd ran them incorrectly, like I put those over those so they were trying to pull them down. Uh, so I've just redone that, used some little 12 mil pipe clips and a zip tie just to loosely guide them where roughly where I want them. Attempt number two, push back, bolt back. It's in. There you go. Fairly secure, not fully bolted down, but the bolts are in, lined up, and that feels pretty secure. Might just add a few pocket hole screws just to pull that end down into the floor. The thing is, is once I started getting in, because I'm using van to get to work, once I started putting it in, I had to put it in, and it had to be bolted in today. close now just the batteries to go last little wiring duct job and theoretically I could turn the system on now is to connect up this bladed fuse with my ignition live cable that just tells the system when the engine is actually on I have off camera because you've seen this all before I've just run my secondary 16 mil positive and negative the first lot went to the 12 volt fuse board and then I've got we're gonna have another 12 volt fuse board up here somewhere That means we haven't got muck about going high low I've just run those and then I'm gonna bring those underneath this bed rail And I'm gonna zip tie them to the bottom of that and then they're gonna come out here poke through there and up into this section here, which we've obviously not made or designed yet, but that's the plan. We're about ready. I've just got a tiny bit of 240 to do. Just waiting for that wire to arrive. It's coming tomorrow, more Arctic blue to do the, the plug sockets. And then actually we can the final switch on. I feel like I've said that a million times, but it's gonna happen. <laughs> Where we are up to before I can turn the power on. Well, I could turn it on now, but I kind of may as well just get a few more little bits ticked off because I don't want to keep having to take this cupboard and pull it back to, you know, for various reasons. So, where we're up to is all my 240 cables are now run 
and the fuse board is now finished. That is fully wired up. I've got 240 running run over here and then we'll go down there that way because we're getting a bit chock-a-block with wires that end. That is for the front area. One is for the hob and the other one is for the socket. These sockets are wired up here as well. So all the 240 is done. The cupboard is in for what should be the final time. Bolted it back again, so that's pretty solid. I have put these pocket hole points in and I am gonna screw it down because when I was driving around in it this week, it was jumping all over the place. And uh, yeah, I wanna get those in. But I think all the wires are in. The heating duct is now in, running through to the bathroom. So really, we are ready to go. Yes, we are now fully in this cupboard is not coming out again. If it does, I think I'm probably gonna have a small heart attack. Next job, batteries in. We've gotta hoof these huge batteries out and stick them in here. That's one. Two. Ready, three, two, one. Yeah. I've got a feeling that these are going to wiggle around, even with three straps. I just, I just don't feel like when I had them strapped in before on the bench, they just didn't feel as secure as I wanted them to be. It's not too bad to be fair. Oh, actually, I'm pretty happy with that. Get batteries in, look at it. Yes. Next job is to flick the power on from the battery. I'm guessing have the engine going so that we're getting current from the, make sure all the isolators are off, the solar's off, because that's not plumbed in yet. Those isolators are off, that's off at the moment. Annoying, I have put in the wrong size blade fuse. I've put in a mini one, because I thought it went there, but it actually, the ignition live goes here. So I've just ordered some from Halford, so I'm gonna nip and get those. Whenever you think you're nearly there, you're not. And some might say I'm not prepared, but I'm really trying my, like the amount of time I devote to this build is insane. Right, fuses received. Fuse connected and on. There we go. So those ones there, anybody doing a crafter build, those four are ignition live. This is just gonna tell the system when to charge the battery off the alternator and will stop it from draining the car battery so you don't let you're not left with a well you're not left stranded without any power so batteries in fuse done this is getting scary now right now i'm going to turn this on i might move away it's, it's not gonna got two parents <laughs> one oh, parent at least thanks jenny thanks for the vote of confidence <laughs> right that i don't know how to what to just push it in <gasps> Ooh. right next next step is Next step, I believe, is just hopefully not a fire. <laughs> I think. Oh, look, we've got a lot. Oh, oh, there's light. There's a light. And it's not fire. <laughs> oh my God, things are flashing. This is very exciting. Have you seen how? Look at the the neatness, Jenny. Very neat. It's, um, like neat it's a very spaghetti. like masculine pose <laughs> you've done there. <laughs> 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 right, I believe now we go that to position. Oh, have you actually read oh. how you do this? No, no, just turn, just turn it on. Oh, I'm gonna turn. No. Do you know what I am gonna do? <laughs> Hang on a minute. Why is that? What? Why is that drawing power if that ignition live? Why is that drawing power if that shouldn't that ignition live be telling it to? like not draw power. Yeah, it's not on. But maybe it's just pull it, maybe it's, I am gonna start the engine. 
Well, there's definitely power there. Nothing has blown up just yet. Right, let's turn this on, I believe. Yeah, because the Lynx isn't on yet. Has, has anything come on this screen? No, so nothing's come on that screen. The e bus. Is the V bus flat? Oh, oh, that's on. There's a lot on there. Right, I believe we now switch this to one, two, nothing. Who's told you this? No one. I'm, I'm just, I'm just assuming. <laughs> The Lynx is not on. Why is that not on? The Orion's on. Serbo's not on. Serbo's on. Oh, the Serbo's now on. Flashing. Maybe it's just going to take maybe a minute. It's, maybe it's just going to take a minute, yeah. Okay. Maybe we... Ah! Oh, the screen is on! <gasps> Stuff is happening! Don't know what to do. He did send me a list of things to put on and then he'll log into it and, and sort it out. What are you doing today, Ginny? Well, I might be in labour, <laughs> but I'm also insulating the van. Well done. Keep up the good work. I'm Braxton Hicksting whilst, <laughs> well, whilst insulating. <laughs> right, sit rep. That is on. I've had the engine on for a bit just to, I don't know, so it doesn't rinse the uh, thingy battery. I'm going to plug a max air fan in to see if it's working, see if we can power some it up. A uh, bit nervous about draining the battery on the van, that's where I'm at. So I might isolate the van from it so it's not pulling. I don't know if the batteries came with charge, I'm not sure how long you'd like. It's been on for about an hour, 45 minutes an hour, so whether it's got a bit of a charge off that or not, who knows. But yeah, I'm going to wire up this max air fan just just quickly to see if it's working and then speak to my Victron guy who hopefully said he'll log in and get it all set up. A bit of an anti-climax to be fair. I was quite excited, nothing actually happened. Just gonna jerry-rig this up and then these go in here onto the fuse board. No? Oh. Yes! Power! That, well, there's the fuse board. The fuse board wired up. And that is wired up. We've got power. We've got power in the van. Yes! All of that, all of that work to power a fan. I'm happy though. Ah, when you grinded on something this hard for this long, literally weeks, this is like on and off. It is a really good feeling when something works and doesn't blow up. So for, for a complete novice to crack on and get this done, you know, I'm chuffed. It's been a steep learning curve, but we've got there. Obviously, we've got a few things to iron out. That is a, it's a good feeling. We're there. Ah, oh, well, I think that brings us to the end of the Victron build, which is probably quite a long video because it's been going on for ages, but we've got there. We've got power. Yes, there's more to do, but the fan works. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Hope perhaps maybe I've made many mistakes that you won't. You hope. <laughs> no, no, hope, hope you will find it useful in watching me make the mistakes so you don't have to. <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment, let us know what kind of job you think we've done on the Victron build. Click here if you want to see how we built our IKEA hack bed and click here if you want to see our most recent video. See you in the next one. Thank you.